Hi, this is Tevye at Fiddler Online, and I was going to give you another quick and helpful tip about WordPress-related stuff. This time, we're going to dive into the Give plugin, which you can find at givewp.com, and that's what this is right here. Um, Give is great for taking donations. Um, so you can see this is what like a donation form would look like and stuff like that. We're also going to take a look at uh, WooCommerce, and you may not, it's probably the most popular e-store plugin out there, so you probably know what WooCommerce is. But the thing is, they're not really made to play well together, and we're not going to totally get them to play well together, but we're going to get them to play as well together as we possibly can. So what the deal is, is that GiveWP has um, a couple of short codes, and it puts them in different pages. So you see here, there's this Give Subscriptions and Donation History. Um, and it actually puts these in two separate pages. So you have like a subscriptions page and then a, and in your overall, you know, donations history page. Um, and that's the default. So when I was looking at it, I was like, well, why have two pages? Why not just have one account page that shows both of these things? So I went ahead and, and combined them together into one page. As you can see here, I just added the two uh, here. And then also under... Um, donations, you have to go and change the settings. So you go under settings here. And uh, let's see here, donation history page, you have to change it to whichever page that is so that it, it makes sure and, and knows where that is. Um, and then I believe also the recurring donations page also has to be set to that same thing. So yeah, subscriptions page, you have to set it to that same page. So then once I did that, then I got to thinking, um, well, why just have give donations on one page? Why not have the um, WooCommerce, my account, on the same page as well? So as you can see here, I went ahead and added the short code for the my account page. And then under, um, under WooCommerce, let's see, where is it? WooCommerce and then settings. And you can go ahead and set, make sure that same page is set. Now, I brought all three of them into the WooCommerce account page, so I didn't actually have to change it in here. But um, if you need to, this is where you would do it at. So um, shipping, check out. I'm trying to remember where it is now. Let's see here. Nope. Uh, obviously, it's on the accounts page. <laughs> so you just have to make sure that this is set to whatever page you select for that as well. So now I'm going to head back over here to the pages and back to that page so I can show you some more. Um, and this is a test page I'm using because this isn't the final page I ended up going with. But So that's all you really have to do to, to get here is just that much. Add the three short codes together. Now, what that'll look like is this right here. Um, uh, oops, no, that's the wrong one. Let's open the right page. It'll look like this. You know, I have the page title up here, and then you have your links to different WooCommerce sections. So, like, people can view their orders and things like that. Um, and then down here, you'll have the, the donations if there are any. And my account doesn't have any, so that's why you're not seeing any uh, here. But then I thought, well, why leave it like that? Let's make it a little fancier. So we use Divi on a lot of our sites, Divi from Elegant Things. And there's uh, links available in the post and in the video notes below. And so what we did is we just went ahead and added uh, some modules, so as you can see here. There's a module for the title, and it says my eStore account, so it's going to separate. And then we have the WooCommerce, and it's just the WooCommerce shortcode uh, is the next block. And then I put a little divider in just to add some space between them. And then I added another title section. Uh, it's just uh, H2 titles on both those. And then it says my donations. And then there's the two uh, WP Give or give WP uh, shortcuts. And so uh, then that page looks like this one I accidentally flipped to a second ago. Uh, let's see here. This one right here. 
So now it looks like this. It says my eStore account, then it's got that divider in the middle to kind of split it up visually, and then my donations down below. If they had any recurring or subscription donations set up, those would show up here. And then any past donations, so whether there's a one-time donation or just past uh, instances of that recurring donation, those would show down here. And so you get it all in one place and it basically makes these two play together as nicely as possible. However, there is one downside. And let me show you here. I'll log out and go back to the home page. Hopefully it didn't log me in first. But off my, my password manager often does. So I'm gonna log back out again here. And then I'll go to the My Account page. And here you'll see the problem. So we've got a login form, a register form, which is okay. These are generated by WooCommerce. And then down here for my donations, people can access just by getting a special email link rather than actually logging in. Um, but um, the people, Word Impress, the people behind GiveWP did not take into account the idea that you might use both those short codes in one page. So you basically have a, a duplicate of the same thing as you can see here. Um, now you could use a little CSS probably to hide this here and, and that would work definitely. But um, anyway, so that's how it ends up being. Uh, ideally, most people will have set up an account when they've done their donations, and so they can just log in here and they'll see everything normally. But there is kind of that bug where there's two of these things, and I have reached out to them and suggested that they alter that. They said they'll look at it, um, but as of a recording of this video, it has not been fixed, so you'll get two of those, which can be a little confusing for your visitors. And that's my tip. That's how you make a great, um, you know, one page account page for both WooCommerce and give the awesome WordPress plugins. Thanks so much.